today's video we'll be watching the actual scene where Kong meets Titanus Shimu and everything about Godzilla X Kong and let's go. Starting off the bat. Oh! What? Nah. That roar is amazing. Hold on. No, 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 no. We gotta watch it again. We gotta watch it again. That roar though. Okay, so Shimu isn't actually that big. I thought he was that big. I mean, he is still humongous, but he's on a cliff. Oh my, look at Kong. He's not even moving. He's scared. Nah, Shimu looks insane, bro. Wow. Oh, we got more? Ooh. This movie, what was... Human civilization. Oh, Kong swinging the hollow earth? That we were Earth's most dominant species. I think this is where Godzilla actually evolves because you could see that purple mist, whatever. I wonder what that is even. No, this trailer was insane. The way Godzilla was fighting Skyla. What else were we wrong about? I wonder why Godzilla and Skyla are fighting. What is this, by the way? What is this? This has to be Mothra, right? Titans were the guardians of nature. No, oh my. And the great apes became the protectors of humanity. I don't think he's the protector of humanity, man. He wants to destroy humanity. Nah, the way Kong. I think Kong loses this fight. And then this scene. Oh, my. Can't stop I love Titanus Shimu's roar, man. Be alone. Oh. oh, bro, this is action over action. Bro. Oh, what? Oh, is this like all the trailers combined? Oh, this is the Unite one. We've seen this one before. Alright, now we're going to be reacting to a breakdown of this trailer, and we gotta watch it one more time, bro, no. Oh. My. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. There's a whole bunch of new Godzilla and Kong trailers to break down. There's a couple that I put during this video. Oh. We finally got a full look at Shimo in the movie. Shimo vs. Kong and Shimo vs. Godzilla. A lot of people speculating on how they're going to end the movie for that character. Like, will they leave her alive? I think they will leave her Godzilla alive. Once they take out the crystal, it's Godzilla done, man. Jr. They're also a Wait, what? Five so that they can do Godzuki or a version of Godzilla Jr. They're all Hold on. Where is Godzilla Jr. coming from? No, no, no. What? This is the first time I'm hearing about the this. Titans that they debuted during this, like the giant crab titan. Giant like, crab titan. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. That's Skyla. How are you going to say giant? If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe nah, to get man. all the videos. The movie's coming out pretty soon, too, so we wanted to wait it's that long. It's like two long. weeks, I'll man. I'll give away some tickets in my well, for videos. For me, it's like, like till April, to. man. Come Generally, on. Generally, I would advise seeing this in the biggest format possible. It just feels like it's designed for IMAX. But starting with the brand new trailer first, we start with another shot of Kong coming around the pyramids. This seems like it's part of his Ooh. first real big fight with Godzilla when he's got the power gauntlet. The you power gauntlet? Come on, bro. It's called the Beast. <laughs> call it his Nintendo Power Glove, the Marvel Infinity Gauntlet. Like, give Kong the Infinity Gauntlet. What? Perfectly no. Perfectly balanced is all things should be. In universe, they're just calling it the Beast Gauntlet. Like I've said before, oh, it's made by Apex, essentially, or it's Apex technology that was absorbed by Monarch after the fall of Apex at the end of Godzilla versus Kong. So the gauntlet is meant oh. to be based on Mechagodzilla. <laughs> Kong is literally tech. Thanos. It makes sense because Kong's axe is also made Oh my god, look at Kong's hand. It's so burnt and red. You can literally scales, see, so he injures his hand his pretty breath. badly, bro. We also see that it's got some special power-ups in it, too. Like, when he punches, you actually see this electrical discharge come off of it. A lot of people speculating that that's meant to be a reference to Kong's traditional lightning attack back during the original Godzilla vs. Kong movie. This is just a new shot of them flying into the hollow Earth just to show you how gravity is all wonky down there. Notice Kong does not have his power glove during this. So yeah, this, this is before. Much I think in the movie yeah. when they first go down there. This seems like it's happening much later in the movie just because of that pink Is that Tiamut? Oh my god, Tiamut! We literally see him right there. What? I didn't even notice that. That's literally him, right? You look where my mouse is. That's him. Gee, no, 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 like no. Okay, so it's confirmed Godzilla's fighting Tiamut. Because we literally see him right there. Power upgrade. 
I keep seeing people online referring to that as Godzilla Evolved, but I don't know what they're actually calling the pink power upgrade in the context Evolved of the like, right? universe, what they're calling it. Oh. This seems like they cut another shot from a completely different part of the movie much earlier because Godzilla's still blue and he's using his atomic breath on this submarine. Not no, really I think sure this is why, where he fights Timu then and he becomes Evolved. This. It seems like they're in the Arctic when this is happening. We get more of that shot of Godzilla in the Roman Colosseum. He actually falls asleep at some point during this in the movie. Like, you see him wake up. Yeah, this is after the, the fight Coliseum. with Scarlet. It has to Maybe be, right? He fought Skylar and then he got tired. While. Not really sure what this heads up display, this viewing him is. Like, somebody is viewing him through a viewfinder. It might be Monarch. It might just be some other random military. Eileen Andrews has that voiceover about them having a misunderstanding about how the Hollow Earth worked and then learning the truth of matters as they introduce some new footage of Kong entering what seems like this membrane area. Like you see this what is device that, spinning around. It seems like Gia's people opening a portal for Kong. And it's not totally Kong gets clear teleported what this out of energy Skull is made from. I mean, we Hollow saw Earth? this earlier in the trailer. It might just be a protective area around where they live inside the Hollow Earth. This might be how they're able to exist down there and not be captives of Scar King, like it just keeps Scar King away. Not totally sure what this crab titan that's fighting Godzilla is meant to bro, be. I haven't seen any official Skyla, games man. for this online yet, but they'll probably tell us during the Come movie. Come on, bro, that's Skyla. Talks about Come on, crab titan. Living in harmony with the titans, but something bad happened. There's actually some concept art from Godzilla, Whoa. King of the Monsters, which shows that underground city where he was living while he was being worshipped by those ancient race of people. During the actual movie, you just get flashes of the walls and some of the wreckage. This is what it's meant to look like in the full That concept. looks amazing. This is the place the where um, Sarazawa exploded with the nuke in Godzilla, uh, King of Monsters. ...of humans living in harmony with Titans. She's obviously talking about Scar King and him taking over the Hollow Earth. There's a new scene of Suko getting afraid in this area here with all of the apes that he descends from while Scar King enters. Is Suko Scar King's son? This the beginning of the movie before he takes off to find Kong and bring him back to help free oh, the really? apes. Oh, no, really? I think this is when time. Kong is or there. He just gets afraid. Kong enters yeah, the this is after is Kong, him. man. We get more of their actual fight. Scar King is meant to be about the same size, but remember, he has Shimo. He also has the special Titan Whip Scar King is so much more spine. agile than Kong. Look at him, he's bouncing around like a crab. Too, just because of the way their spines look. Notice they polished the special effects on this trailer, so you get a much better look of his spine whip and the tip, which is glowing with energy. We get a much bigger reveal for Shimo this time and how Scar King is keeping her captive down there inside that lava flow. Like there's a little cave that's protected with the lava flow because it seems like her abilities are cold based. So maybe she's just extra weak Ooh. against heat powers. But oh. essentially his way of releasing her from her prison is to just put a giant boulder on a chain, place it in the lava flow to redirect it, making a little opening. No, so that, that, out, that is amazing. That looks so, so good. Massive chains. It's not totally clear if she destroys his axe weapon or if he just winds up dropping it or losing it at some point. Bro, when he I think he does. She can destroy the axe because it's door Godzilla's dorsal plate that is one of the strongest metal. But if we look, I think it's he freezes. Totally she freezes she the axe. Look at the axe. axe weapon, look, you can see it getting frozen it or losing it at some point when he eventually gets the power gauntlet. We get a little more from their final fight scene in this big city. Notice when he's whipping around this building that's on his chain. You also see the tip glowing a little bit oh. more. You also see Kong's gauntlet rippling with energy. Like I said, more of those energy effects. This is that larger scene of Godzilla Look, versus bro. Shimo. Shimu is huge. Look, his head is the size of Godzilla's body. Anyways, make sure to hit that subscribe button so we watch the newest releases of the TV spot and trailer from Godzilla X Kong. And you know what, guys? I hope you like it. Peace.